Okay, so what we got is water out of my refrigerator on the left, you know, supposedly filtered, and on the right we have uh, just your standard tap water. So we're gonna test this water and see how filthy it is. Keep in mind the jar on the left is filtered. It came out of uh, out of my refrigerator. The one on the right is is tap water. Keep in mind, a majority of the population drinks this stuff. Even bottled water is bad for you. I've done tests on bottled water, and it uh, it's it's still bad. And then you wonder why you can't tell people things like, like, hey, they're poisoning the food, our air, our medication, and people wonder why people can't comprehend what you're telling them. And this right here is a prime example. You think your body is going to filter that shit out? And this don't even show the uh, the fluoride content. Fluoride something else on its own. This here is as a uh, metals. <clears throat> so see both of them are pretty bad the one on the right is like I said is tap water it's obviously worse but I wouldn't drink either one of them I stick to distilled water. People complain about distilled water not having any minerals and stuff in it. It's water. It's not supposed to have minerals in it. That's just their cop out for putting this kind of crap in there. That one on the right looks awful. So while that stuff's brewing, I want to show you all this as well. I got this from my water company. It says, do not flush medications. Once it was commonplace to flush medications down the toilet. Your doctor or pharmacist may have directed you to do this. We now know that these substances are bad for our environment. The wastewater treatment process does not remove the matter contained in them. So they end up in our waterways. So what that's saying is all the, the uh, SRI medications and everything else that people are on that, uh, that they're passing when they go to the restroom or they're, you know stuff that ends up in the, in the toilets or down the sinks goes back into our water and then you end up drinking it because the wastewater treatment process does not remove them. So you're, you end up drinking other people's medications. Nice. Look at that. All right, stand by. I want to do one more test on this water, and then uh, I want to move into the uh, the red wine spit test. That one's always interesting. We'll check out some nanotech. Stand by. All right. So what I'm going to do is dump the water that came out of the tap onto this this plate and then I'm gonna drop a couple uh, things of 
um, alcohol in there and see what happens. Look at that, man. That is disgusting. I'm sorry about the poor video quality and audio, guys. I'm using my cell phone. And it's a piece of crap. All right, let's see if this has anything. So again, got just plain rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna dump it in this water and see if we get any kind of reaction. Okay, so they put the nanotech in our water too. Does that look normal to you? Yeah, I didn't think so. This video is gonna run long, guys, but I don't care. So, they obviously dropped nanotech in the water as well. All right, stand by one more test. I'm gonna do the, uh, the red wine test. All right, so what we got is um, organic grape juice. I rinse with this for, I don't know, it's probably two or three minutes. I don't think you have to do it quite that long, but I did I did that long, you know, just in case, I don't know. And then uh, I got the rubbing alcohol. So we're gonna add a couple drops of rubbing alcohol to this grape juice that I've been rinsing with. And let's watch what happens. There you go. Look at that. Well, they're running for their lives. They all went to this one corner.
So there you have it. That's what they're putting in our bodies. This is nanotech. It bypasses our, our body's immune system. Basically, uh, wraps itself within our DNA. That's why you see people with uh, Morgellons disease, their body's rejecting and they end up getting all these little blue and red fibers and whatnot. coming out of their skin it's their body rejecting it why I say the majority of the population's body assimilates to it now my thing is do you think human beings can come up with this kind of technology yeah me either Me either. This isn't the work of man. I'll tell you that now. I'll tell you that now. See, I show people this kind of thing and they reject it. It's too much for them. They'd rather live in their... their false or... rigged reality, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it's pride or what they can't admit that they've been horn swoggled stuff that they thought that matters stuff that they grew up thinking that matters doesn't mean shit doesn't matter what kind of car you got how big your your house is how much money you got in your your bank account all that stuff's irrelevant this right here is the end game I think this stuff accompanied with the, uh, all these towers they have on every block, these Gwen tires and uh, EMF towers, whatever you want to call them. They're going to basically link all of us up to those and control us like puppets. Alright, this video has ran long enough. Questions, comments, or complaints down below. Laters.